Two quarters down, two quarters to go. The second half of BYU women's basketball is about to begin. Here's Jason Shepard on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Idaho State leading BYU by 3, 37-34 at the break time for our Wilner and O'Reilly Laws of the Game feature. So according to the NCAA rulebook, what happens when a ball in play makes contact with an official? Well, according to Article 3 of that section, when the ball touches an official or a player who is on the playing court, play shall continue as if the ball touched the floor at that individual's location. So essentially, it's play on. Wilner and O'Reilly Immigration Solutions in Utah and abroad at wilneroreilly.com. And the second half about ready to start and Smiler back in and no worse for wear. She has some staples in the side of her head. She had a laceration on the side of her head. Stapled it closed and she's back out and ready to roll. I was told they offered to numb it before she put the staples in. She said, nope, just do it. So just adding to the toughness of Kaylee Smiler. Good to see her back out there, and I saw her walking out, and I think she looked at some friends or maybe some family and gave the thumbs up that she's okay. So that's the most important thing. BYU down three, and the first possession is a turnover. Sophia Cavello comes away with it to Spink on the baseline. Spink picks up the dribble. Free throw line extended. Now out to Cavello. Cavello to Aby. Aby pulls up for three, and it's a six-point lead for Idaho State. Picking up right where they left off to end the half. 40-34 Bengals. BYU's 13 turnovers have been a problem today. They'll find Kaylee Smiler on the cut. Off the glass and in. A beautiful move by Smiler. And the Cougars within four. Casey Spink. To Bello. Bello dribbles to the right side of the court, hands off to Jordan. Tasia Jordan stops, pulls up from 10 feet, and drains the J. And she had a heck of a first half, nine points. She has 11 in the game. And it's a six point advantage. Whiting into the paint, back out to Calvert. Now they'll post to Gustin. Gustin splits the double team, passes out to Calvert. Emma raises for three, no good. Rebound momentarily in the hands of Gustin. Couldn't hang on to it. And Idaho State, leading by six, will have possession. Covello dribbling over the Y logo and into the front court for the Bengals. Looking to add to their six-point lead. Down low to A.B. A.B. can't hang on to it. Out of bounds. No, they'll say off of BYU. Wow. I didn't see a BYU player get a hand on it, but... It'll stay with the Bengals. Jordan goes up top to Bello. Bello hands off to Jordan. Jordan pulls up and hits the jump shot from the free throw line. 44-36. And Coach Whiting has seen enough. She wants a timeout. BYU is down 44-36 to Idaho State. This is just a 30-second timeout, so we will keep it here with 8.17 left. BYU has scored two points here to begin the third quarter. Idaho State has scored seven. And right now, turnovers have been an issue. And quite frankly, just some hot shooting by Idaho State. They're only shooting 46%, but they've come up with some big shots in some crucial moments that have kind of kept the momentum rolling a little bit. And they're playing with a ton of confidence right now. And that's certainly not what you want when you've got a 500 team coming in. They come in, they start hitting a couple shots. Even when they're down, BYU has not been able to extend the lead to really put them away and The longer they stayed around, the more confidence they had, and now they've got an eight-point lead. Still plenty of time, though. BYU can get hot, and this is certainly not the first time that BYU has trailed in games to actually come back and win comfortably. So, But they've got to cut down the turnovers, to say the least. 8-17. They called this a 30, but this has gone a lot longer than 30 seconds. I heard, specifically heard the referee. <laughs> Idaho State is looking down the line 
like uh, we're ready to break the huddle, but the cheerleaders are on the court. So has this thing been taken full? Well, they said 30, so we kept it here. The cheerleaders are on the floor, and the players are on the court. The cheerleaders are still at midcourt, and I, I think they uh, realized, yeah, we probably should get off the court right now. Jason Shepard with you courtside here. Again, coming up next for BYU, we'll head to the Show Me State. Heading to Missouri on Tuesday, we will play Missouri State on Wednesday, and then Nevada also at Missouri State on Thursday. So two games in Springfield, Missouri at the Great Southern Bank Arena. So they did go media. Unfortunately, they did not let the powers that be know that. So we'll go ahead and keep it here anyway. No point in going to break now. And I don't think they let the teams know that either. Because both teams have been ready to play, and the referees have held them off. So some miscommunication by the ref referee crew today. And it's BYU basketball down eight. Inbound to Whiting. Now to Calvert. Calvert hands off to Woolston. Woolston has the ball knocked away. It will be off of Idaho State. 20 seconds on the shot clock for the Cougars. 8-10 left here in quarter number three. And Smiler will inbound in the corner. Into Amari. Whiting uses the screen by Gustin. Now to Smiler. Cross-court pass to Calvert. Entry pass too high once again for Gustin. And that's the Cougars' 14th turnover in an empty possession. Idaho State up eight with the ball. Covello crosses midcourt, hounded by Whiting. Amari showing that excellent on-the-ball defense, forcing a turnover. Whiting on the floor, has it, and BYU comes away with it. Excellent defense by Whiting. Cougars get it to Woolston. Woolston into the corner, stops, pops for three, oh, just rims out, and a foul will be called on Idaho State on the rebound. The foul called on number one, Casey Spink. That is the first team foul and the first personal foul for Spink. Quick substitution, Diaz in. Sofia Cavello will take a seat for the Bengals. BYU will have it trailing by eight. Whiting will inbound underneath the BYU basket. Into Woolston, three-point range. Out to Whiting on the angle. Whiting spins. Off the glass, rims out, rebound to Laura Bello and the Bengals. Diaz has the ball and is just holding it there. Waiting for the cutters. Now gets it to Spink, three-point range. To Bello, straddling the three-point line. Hands off to Aby. Elisa Aby fakes the three. Out to Spink, inside the three-point line. And the jump shot is good. A deep jump shot. And it's a 10-point advantage for Idaho State. 46-36. Under seven minutes to go here in the third quarter. A 6-0 run by the Bengals. The ball down low to Gustin. Gustin fouled. Fouled on the ground, so will not get free throws. It will be BYU basketball, and they will inbound. Whiting set to inbound baseline. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Into Gustin. Gustin. To Calvert, BYU desperately needs a bucket. Smiler, baseline jumper, no good. Rebound, Maria Diaz. And the Cougars have not scored in two and a half minutes. They trail by ten. Six and a half minutes to go here in the third. Bello hands off to Aby. Aby thought about the three, defended by Smiler. Aby now to Diaz in the corner. Drives baseline, steps out of bounds. Turnover, Bengals, their tenth. Both teams now... With double-digit turnovers, 14 for the Cougars, 10 for the Bengals. BYU basketball. And Whiting crosses midcourt. Gustin sets the screen. Whiting backing in, kicks back out to Woolston. Three-point range on the angle. Out to Calvert straight away. Finds Smiler. Smiler all the way to the rim with the left hand is good. And boy, did BYU need that. 
Cougars within eight. The defense did not switch, and Smiler had an easy layup on the left side. Diaz looking to do the same thing. Contended with by the BYU defense. Cougars come away with it. Back to Smiler. Stops. Shoots the three. No good. Gustin comes away with it. Back out to Smiler. Into the corner. Wollston. A three on the way. No good. Rebound to Jordan. The Cougars got two good looks from three and a foul on Whiting. I think they're going to call maybe a, a trip. Tripping Tasia Jordan on the fast break. I have a substitution. Davenport will come into the ball game for Emma Calvert. So Emma will take a seat. Two points, three rebounds, and two assists for Emma. Davenport in. Davenport with three points, a rebound, and an assist. BYU down eight. Sophia Cavello. Pass into the corner. Three on the way is an air ball by the Bengals. BYU comes away with it. Whiting pushes it. Whiting cross court. To Smiler into the corner to Woolston, fakes the three, drives strong into the lane. She's fouled, flings it up. The bucket is no good, but she'll head to the free throw line for two. And look, sometimes that's what you've got to do. When the shots maybe not fall and force the issue, go right to the rim. If they foul you, great. If you get the layup, great. If you get a chance for both, even better. So the Cougars trailing by eight at the free throw line for two. Woolston. It's a 57% free throw shooter, and the first one is up and good. Free throw brought to you by Zions Bank for 150 years of helping you succeed. Zions Bank is for you. His free throw could pull the Cougars within six. And that's what happens. Two for two for the freshman. BYU on the comeback, trailing by six. Trailed by as many as ten, now within six. And the defense amping up. Spinks takes advantage of the switch. Had a wide open layup for a moment, but the defense collapsed. Smiler able to get a hand, knocked it out of bounds off of BYU. So good defense by the Cougars. Idaho State will inbound. Jump shot by Bello. No good. Rebound Cougars. They can pull closer. Down by six. Under five minutes to go. To Davenport in the corner. And looking for Gustin. Knocked out of bounds by Bello. And we will have a media timeout with 4.50 left here in the third quarter. BYU down six, but making a run. They'll have possession when we return to the Marriott Center. 46-40, Idaho State on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Women's Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Fillmore Spencer, Utah's trusted, top-rated local law firm, can play offense, defense, or provide a little coaching. Fillmore Spencer, solving problems and seizing opportunities for you, your family, and your business. Welcome back courtside here in Provo, Utah. Jason Shepard coming to you from the Marriott Center. 4.50 left here in quarter number three. BYU trail by as many as 10 here in the third quarter. They've pulled within six. They will have possession with 23 seconds on the shot clock. BYU just won out of its last seven field goals. And after beginning this quarter, quite frankly, ending the second quarter and beginning the third quarter, Idaho State has not scored in over 220, and Cougars have got to take advantage of that. Because right now, the Bengals are missing some shots. BYU's got to score on the other end. they will have another opportunity here to pull within four. If you can hit a three, three. The play will resume in front of the BYU bench. Cougars in the home whites trimmed in royal. Idaho State in the road blacks trimmed in gray and orange. BYU has won four in a row in this series and 12 out of 15 overall. And the referee hands the ball to Kaylee Woolston. Inbound to Gustin. Back out to Davenport. Three-point range. Out to Wilson coming off the screen. Now they'll get the ball in the hands of Whiting. And now on the wing to Smiler. Smiler to Davenport. Three-point range straight away to Whiting. Thought about the three. Dribbles in. Out to Smiler. Fakes the three. Drives strong baseline. Defense cuts it off. The ball's tipped and taken away by Idaho State. Spink has it. Picks up the dribble. 
Out to Lokitsa. Lokitsa, a little step through, and now passes to Spink. Spink in the paint. Out to Lokitsa. Fakes the three. Dribbles inside. Back to Spink. Down low to Bello. Bello backing in on Gustin. Laura Bello thought she shuffled the feet. Layup is no good. Ball is loose. Jump ball. And it will stay with Idaho State. Spink and Gustin got their hands on it. Possession arrow pointing towards the Bengals. They'll have the ball with 20 seconds on the shot clock. 4.06 left here in quarter number three. They'll go up top. Whiting there knocked the ball free, but it lands in the hands of Lokitsa. Pass into the corner. Three on the way. Oh, that is a big three by Cam Coleman. The redshirt sophomore from LaGrande, Oregon. They may have called that a two. In fact, they did. 48-40. Well, we've got a discrepancy. We've got the stat broadcast and the scoreboard are different. It looked like a three to me. I'm going to go with 49-40 until we're told otherwise. Cougars down nine. Post pass down to Gustin, and she goes to work with the right hand. 49-42. BYU within seven. It's her 64th double-double. 65th, excuse me. Turnover, Bengals. Whiting comes away with it. She's tripped up, and she had a breakaway. And that took away a layup. That absolutely took away a layup. It was incidental contact. You had shoes kind of hitting each other, and it tripped up Amari, but she was able to regain, and she would have gone in for an uncontested layup. But instead, the foul is called, and BYU will have to earn it again. BYU inbounds to Whiting. Three-point range. Gustin sets the screen. Up top to Davenport. Davenport now to Smiler. Cougars work in the perimeter. They want to go down low, but good defense by the Bengals. Now they'll go down low to Gustin. Gustin went to the reverse side of the rim, and the ball is grabbed by Jordan. So it will be a jump ball, and it stays with the Cougars. 12 seconds to get a shot off. BYU's done much better in the second half on those entry passes down low. Inbounds to Smiler. Smiler hammered on the layup attempt. She's able to get in front of the defender right at the rim. Does not go, but she'll shoot two. BYU can pull within five. They trail 49-42. Smiler at the free throw line for two. Kaylee, two for two so far in the game at the free throw line. First free throw is up and good. BYU within six. This was as close as they got moments ago. We'll see if they can pull within five. And can't. Front rims it. Rebound to Maria Diaz. So a one for two trip at the line for Smiler. 49-43. Bengals up six with the ball. 2.45 left in the third quarter. Spink. Wants to take Davenport off the dribble. Instead picks up the dribble. And now he's trying to find somebody to hand it to. Gets it to Cavello. Three-point range. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Cavello into the corner. Back to Spink. Spink. Another long jump shot. Hits the front of the rim. But right to Jordan. And a second chance opportunity. An offensive rebound by the Bengals. To Diaz. Diaz hounded by Smiler. Bello sets the screen. Smiler stays with Diaz. Good defense by Smiler. Out to Spink, three-point range straight away. She'll take the three and make the three. Wow. 52-43. A nine-point lead for the Bengals. Just when BYU gets close, the Bengals come up with a big shot. The last two have been threes. Backdoor cut by Whiting. Whiting right at the rim. Thought she was fouled. No call. Rebound Idaho State. Looked like she was hit on the arm. No call. Now Whiting back on defense, closely guarding Diaz. 1.45 left, and Amari gets a revenge, takes the steal, hands it off to Gustin. Gustin all the way to the rim and in for the layup. Great defense by Whiting. Gets the steal, gets it in the hands of Gustin. Gustin all the way to the rim, BYU within 7, 52-45. BYU wants to make a push here to end the third quarter. Laura Bello to Jordan on the wing. Jordan uses the screen, drives all the way to the lane, off the glass and in. 54-45, Idaho State. Nearing one minute left here in quarter number three. 
Back to Davenport. Davenport fouled on the layup attempt. No good, but she'll head to the line for two. Mountain America is a proud sponsor of BYU women's basketball. Mountain America is the official credit union of BYU athletics. Davenport at the line. These are her first free throws of the afternoon. Three points for Dav. Also with a rebound and an assist. Lauren, we're in number 30 for the Cougars. And the first free throw rims out. 101 remaining here in quarter number three. BYU down nine. And the second one rims out. Nine-point lead for Idaho State, and they'll slow things down. Under a minute to go here in quarter three. Cavello picks it up. Bad pass, knocked away by the Cougars. Wolston comes away with it. Wolston underhand scoop. No foul was called, but BYU comes away with it. Another opportunity. Smiler straight away to Woolley on the wing. Entry pass to Gustin. Up and in. Could have been a three-point play. Didn't get the call again. They're swallowing the whistle down on BYU's side down low with contact. Cougars within seven. 24 seconds left. 54-47 Idaho State. BYU love to get a stop. Right to the rim is Lokitsa, and a blocking foul will be called on Smiler, and it will be two free throws for Nika Lokitsa from Croatia. 16.3 left. So Lokitsa, 5'10 sophomore at the free throw line. Her team up seven. Free throw is good. She's just a 50% free throw shooter. So we'll see if those averages stand. Made the first. Should miss the second. And she does. Ball knocked out of bounds. Off of BYU. They say off of Guston. So Idaho State leading by eight. We'll look to end the quarter with the final possession. And then the Cougars will have some work to do in the fourth. Certainly doable. BYU's not down a ton. They're just down eight right now. Let's see if they can get a stop. Inbounds to Diaz. Ten seconds for a shot. Diaz passes out of the double team. Down low to Carlson. Back out to Diaz. Three seconds. Jump shot is good. Wow. And that's the end of the third quarter. Idaho State hit every big shot they needed to in the third quarter. It began to end the half. It continued in the third quarter. They shot 50%. They're shooting 50% from the game. They shot 61% in the third quarter. Wow. Three of four from three. And BYU will take a 10-point deficit into quarter number four. After three, it's 57-47 Idaho State on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.